You know when people use a shoehorn? Yeah. Does he think you leave that in too? <laughs> So we wanted to cover today the new Max Pro, Thorombo Max, Knackout 16, um, and the kind of evolution of the Raws range. We've got um, Artichoke Extract coming, we've got the Keolic Garlic coming, we've got some issues with Custom, which we found out about this one, fucking annoying. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about those. We are going to talk a little bit about um, Tudka and Orals, because there's a little bit of confusion around that. Um, and I'm going to introduce you, Laz, to um, a lady called Vanessa, who has been helping us out with some of the stuff for the Stromucation website. The Stromucation website is coming along really, really well. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, Laz, um, but I'll, I'll show you at some point. It's, it's looking really good. I, I have seen it. You've seen it? Yeah, 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 once or twice. Yeah. It's, uh, it's nice that you pay attention. <laughs> um, and, um, and that's it. And I think today we're going to try and be a bit more efficient, because I want to finish by one o'clock and go and look at motorbike leathers. I was expecting you to have something actually on. I do have something on. No, no, but like you know what I mean, like serious. Like this is the longest no, work. You've... This is the longest work day you've done since the last time I came, isn't it? No, I was here. How long was I here yesterday? I was here from half past twelve <laughs> till quarter to one. No, until four o'clock. Although I had an hour of therapy in there. <laughs> Uh, I did an isovolumic venice section actually. Do you know what? And I haven't been paid for that. I love how in 2020 I used to come and make videos for a supplement company, and now I just follow a retired man around with a camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not retired, and um, don't say mean things about me on the internet or I'll stop paying you. Okay. By the way, so this is your office? Um, I like it here. Yeah, I can I can make sure that they're not fucking about. So, um, Cremax HCL. I am not a fan of generic creatine monohydrates. Um, and I'm not a fan of generic creatine monohydrates because they can, in some instances, have um, contamination from things like heavy metal. There isn't the best level of quality assurance. Um, I'm just not a fan, which is why we've always used Creopure. Now, there are lots of people that use regular creatine monohydrate with no issues. Creopure dissolves better. There's more data behind it. Because it comes from Altschem in Germany, you've got more Altschem. They're um, very efficient. Um, you've got that, that assurance that every single batch is exactly the same. When we could no longer source Creopure, I couldn't just do a creatine monohydrate, particularly after I spent two or three years saying that you know you really don't want to be using a generic. A product I used to really like was uh, called Concrete Creatine, which was creatine HCL. Um, used to come in, I think, a lemon pineapple flavor. It was really good. Um, and creatine HCL I like for a few reasons. The, the dose you need for it to achieve the same thing as creatine monohydrate is much lower, kind of 1.5 grams. It's very, very soluble, so it dissolves really well, mixes really well. There's no granulation to it. It's the type of creatine that I recommend to people with stomach problems because it doesn't cause any digestive issues. We stock Crea Tech from Adapt Nutrition. We have done for probably seven or eight years at this point, which is a creatine HCL product. Um, so I really like creatine HCL. It's effective. It doesn't cause digestive problems. There is a little bit of data from some studies saying that it might be better for body composition goals than Crea creatine monohydrate. I am dubious of those studies, but they do exist. One of the problems with creatine HCL is that it's extremely hydrophobic. Uh, not hydrophobic. Um, Philic? Hydrophilic. It, it, it loves to absorb all the moisture from the air, even worse than things like glycerol. Or is it hydroscopic? Hydroscopic. Yeah. Edit that. So hydrophilic is a word, though, right? I don't know. Hydrophobic is when things bead water off. Yeah. So when you'd think that philic would be the opposite? Hydrophallic. Hydroph no, no, no. It's not <laughs> anyway. shaped. <laughs> anyway. Um... So we've done the creatine HCL and we've done it with D-ribose, which I think is a really nice, this idea of, of things that improve ATP all being together, works really well. One of the problems we've had with the creatine HCL is it is a twat for clumping. If you keep it in the fridge, it's generally not as bad. But when it clumps, it it doesn't re-unclump particularly well. And much as we've tried to spread the message about putting things in the fridge, it's not been 
not everyone's got it. Uh, and there have been a few with the... I reckon if we'd launched it in the winter, we wouldn't have had anywhere near the problems. But because we launched it and then we had like the hottest heat wave ever because Al Gore, global warming, something like that, I don't know. Um, it, it became something that we had to answer a lot of questions on and I don't like people having an experience that, that they feel is not optimal. So, we have finally managed to procure a batch of Crea Pure from Outschem. Uh, so they are the people that make uh, make Crea Pure. Uh, we get it directly from them. Um, on a genuine Crea Pure product, you've got a little logo, which is Crea Pure logo, and it'll have a number in there, and that is the brand's specific authorization code. Um, Outschem are very, very strict on all of that stuff. So we finally got some, which means that by the time this video is out, we should be very close to relaunching the original Crea Max with Crea Pure. Exactly the same as it always was. HCL isn't disappearing. We're probably going to run both, but there's a lot of people that really like that original. The cost is going to increase. It's going to go up from, I think it was always 32 for Crea Max uh, for 90 servings. It's going to be more like £39 because of the global increase in creatine costs. Is there a chance that it becomes hard to find stock again and it will go out of stock? Potentially, yeah. So that's why we're not discontinuing the HCL. I really like HCL on several levels, but it is from a customer service, stock management point of view, a little bit more problematic. Um, it, it's not been completely smooth sailing, uh, if I'm completely honest. Um, so yeah, hopefully about 10 days from now, Crea Pure, Crea Max will come back. It will be slightly more expensive than it was. It may go back out of stock in the future. We don't know, is the honest answer. But um, that's what we got. Cool. Do you want to go and do another video? Yes. Cool. What are we doing? He was a sprinter, yeah, like me. I just sprint for 20 minutes on a Stairmaster. Yeah, that's not sprinting then. Yeah. Actually, yesterday I did 22 and a half. Do you do any other activity? What other activity would you need? Like weightlifting or something? No. Like lifting weights, not necessarily no. like Olympic weightlifting? No. Okay. Actually, no. Wrist straps, they're really good. They are actually really good. So we don't do low, we're like, we're not a kit brand. We're not like Cerberus or SBD or anything like that. We're never going to be a kit brand. There's just certain things that I really like. Obviously I don't bench much anymore, but. You literally have just said that you walk. Um, but bench was the one thing that I really used to enjoy um, and these were kind of made to, to the spec that I like so they are a medium length relatively high stiffness but not completely rock solid uh, wrist wrap uh, and there is one thing about them that makes them unique Laz. Um this part okay carry on the sticky bit of the velcro that would occasionally stick to your fluffy gym trousers is on here rather than on here so when you're walking around with your wraps like that, that almost no one ever does, uh, they don't stick to trousers. Oh, so the opposite? Yeah, the opposite. Okay, so the fluffy part is, is fluffy on the- Fluffy part is on the floppy bit. Oh, okay. See, innovation. <laughs> Good morning, Strum. You've just done work. Yeah, blood work. Blood work here is done under the Hench Project. Um, it's a, a cheaper service, the uh, Hench Project. We were the first people to offer blood weight. I mean, Laz has covered the Hench Project a million times. Um, the only problem we really have with it now, we used to send out results in the post, which is properly old fashioned. So we've got Aaron away from doing that. We now send them out via email. However, if when the customer writes down their email address, there is a spelling mistake made, they'll never receive any results. We've just had a call from someone who had their blood work done a month ago. They've not had any results. Uh, if you ever get your blood work done by us and uh, after around 10 days you've not heard anything, just give us a call and we'll get a, a, a copy of those results sent over to you once we've confirmed your email address. Um, because that's all it'll be, it's just a, an email address mistake, so we'll, we'll sort that out for this gentleman now. And if you're ever in that situation, you know what to do. Cut that out, don't include any of that. I, w I watched a thing the other day about who the ultimate James Bond is, and if you answer anything other than Pierce Brosnan, you are wrong. What? In Mamma Mia, he was undercover. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I liked Sean Connery in 
Um, have you seen The Rock? The Rock comes from a parallel dimension, and he's like, Rimmer, have you seen Red Dwarf ever? Well, that was my question. They regrow bones, can they regrow an entire limb? Oh, God. What's his name? Uh, Gilderoy Lockhart disappeared all the bones from his arm after a Quidditch match. Although, to be fair, she moaned like fuck. You just gave him a potion. You didn't do fuck all, Madam Pomfrey. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. I would have just given him fucking wizard morphine and gone to bed. Are you recording all of this? Yeah, that's all. Okay, well, that's the wrap up. Um, today, we have tried to be more time efficient. It's been good. Um, Mad Eye Moody did not have Wizard Booper. Um, he probably should have, given his job. You would have thought that would be a, um, a perk of being an aura, because you know, you're effectively a wizard James Bond. Right, fine, fine, I'm in for that. Yeah. Okay, can I have your microphone? You can have your microphone. Thanks. <laughs> that was awful.